everyone. My name is Alan Gelly, and I'm a project manager and blockchain analyst here at the Auburn RFID Lab. Myself and the rest of the team are very excited to give you a virtual walkthrough of our blockchain demonstrator and hopefully further your understanding of the potential business value for RFID technology as well as blockchain. We're going to follow an order and its data through a supply chain that is serialized data and blockchain enabled. So the two solutions that we would like to implement in this retail supply chain are serialized data and blockchain technology. And we believe that these two types of technology could really help an organization optimize their data exchange and empower their data management. So for our serialization solution, we're gonna work with RFID technology because obviously we're, we're pretty partial to that here at the RFID lab. Um, and this component is crucial for visibility and traceability within the blockchain network. So the next concept we're gonna explain is blockchain. So the word blockchain is, is not unlike the word internet in the late 90s and early 2000s. It's a broad term and it can include a lot of different components. So what we're going to do is simply define it as a combination of two things, distributed ledger technology and smart contracts. And for the purpose of this walkthrough, we're going to be focusing on the distributed ledger piece of blockchain. So distributed ledger technology provides an immutable record of information available to everyone within the network. It is a fundamental layer for every blockchain. It doesn't matter if it's cryptocurrencies or if it's a supply chain blockchain. What you need is a distributed ledger layer at the base. So now that we've explained the general concepts behind serialized data and blockchain technology, we're gonna walk you through that same supply chain that's got both of the technologies enabled. So as you can see behind me, we're back in the retail store and Alex is performing an inventory cycle count this time with an RFID handheld reader instead of a UPC barcode reader. This is a much more efficient way to do things because he doesn't have to establish line of sight with everything. And a task that was once performed once or twice a year can now be performed every day if necessary. So Alex, now that you've completed your scan, what do you think we need to order? I was actually mistaken on our first go run. Um, we actually need 15 items instead of 12. Uh, so here's the inventory management system. We are good to go. All right. And now that we've got that order generated, it's going to make its way over to the brand distribution center. So now that the order has been generated from the retail store, that order is then going to be sent to the brand distribution center. In addition to the order showing up here at the brand distribution center, that order is also going to be cataloged in the blockchain network for future reference. So in the same way that we had it before, that order is going to arrive at the brand distribution center and a pick list is going to be generated according to that order. So once again, the employee is going to see the items that need to be loaded into the order fill the order, and instead of using a traditional audit procedure this time, Morgan is then going to take the box and he's going to bring it over to our RFID audit and outbound line. Now before Morgan rolls the order through the outbound RFID audit line, what we're going to do is talk about the serialized item information that we have available right now. Each of these items has an EPC tag assigned to it, and because of that we've got item level visibility for everything that we have inventory here at the facility. So as you can see, if you look into the Visic software that we're using as our blockchain component, you can look at the individual item, its location, its owner, and its status. So before Morgan rolls the order and all the items within it down the RFID audit line, the location is DC number one, the owner is the brand, and the status of each of those items is inventory. So now Morgan is gonna roll the order through the RFID audit and outbound line. And as he does that, there's multiple things happening. First, the RFID portal in place is gonna read all the serialized EPC information and it's gonna cross validate that with what should be in the order. And you can see that occurring on the screen right now. In addition to this, there's also an update that's occurring for each of those items within the blockchain network. So the three fields that are changing are location, owner, and status. And so what was inventory before at the brand, at the DC level, it is now gonna be in transit, owned by the shipper, and the status is now sent. And once that order is validated, it's going to be picked up by FedEx or the third-party logistics provider, and it's going to make its way down into the retail distribution center. So this time, instead of using a manual 5-10% to audit on the retail DC side, what we're going to use is RFID portals that are built into the dock door infrastructure. So now in the retail DC, you can see the shipment arriving from the brand DC. And this time, instead of having to select one box to manually count, the RFID equipment is picking up the serialized item information and is validating it with the orders. So as you can see, all 15 items that were supposed to show up in the order can be validated with the serialized item information made available with the RFID equipment on the dock door. In addition to the order being validated in its entirety, there's also an update that occurs for each of the items within the blockchain network. So as you can see, what used to be owned by the third-party logistics provider is now going to be owned by the retailer. The location of that item is going to be DC number 8, which belongs to the retailer, and the status of that item is now going to be received. 
and once that entire order is validated, it'll only make its way back to the retail store that generated the order in the first place. And what we've just done is followed an entire order through the life cycle. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you learn more about the value of serialized data and blockchain technology. If you would like to come see the store in person and visit the lab, please let us know.